Why, well, hello there, everybody. Um, it is my one month anniversary since uh, my accident. Uh, my legs are getting a lot better, which is awesome. Um, you can actually check them out real quick. Woo! Look at those. Yeah, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. But I can uh, point my toes most of the way and flex them up, but that's the one that's still uh, interesting. It's pulling them up. I can feel tight there. Um, cool thing is, I am healing quite quickly. Uh, according to the doctors, I'm healing about four times faster than they expected. Um, I was not supposed to be able to put any weight-bearing uh, pressure on my feet, even in the boots, for up to three months uh, until they came off. You know, that I was going to start everything. But um, they have me on crutches now, uh, starting week five. And I've been able to actually stand up and walk short distances without crutches, without walls or anything, using just the boots um, for the last week or so. Um, a little bit after I started working out again, which is nice. Um, let's see, what else? I got my stitches out about a week ago. That's awesome. Oh my god, the scabs that come afterwards on your feet. Oh, ridiculous. I'm going to post a picture like right. I do that hand thing, right? No, it's good enough. That over here somewhere, oh my gosh, magic. I better have a picture to put there somewhere, that's not going to work very well. And that would be, hello doggies. Let's see the doggies. I was only in the middle of recording. My... Oh, now the doggies are gone, that's my sister. Candy bars. Oh, I have candy, oh, I have two candy bars. Oh, it's fat kid heaven. Oh, somebody see me. Come here! Oh, hello, Deegan! Oh, what's that? What is that, Deegan? What is that thing you're looking at? Who knows? Oh, you're just a big giant mastiff. You're just a little mastiff puppy. Okay. And I'm gonna go back to this. Ah. She didn't lick my face. Okay, are you just, you're just gonna stay in the middle of my webcast. Okay, that's cool. Whatever. Alright, that's alright. <laughs> Thank you, Jed. Um, so that was my sister, who brought me... <laughs> uh, when I get hurt or sick, I eat lots of candy because it makes me feel good. Don't judge me. Okay, um, so my stitches are out, everything's scabbed up. Um, for the first like four or five days, it was really difficult to move my feet at all or practice any of the drills they wanted me to have pointing my toes and flexing my feet because it scabbed over so much uh, that I couldn't really do it or else they would start to crack and it was not... Are you serious? Oh my god, see, this is why my door stays shut, because now people like Tiba here come in, and don't be fooled by this kitty. She's not, Tiba, you're not even looking at the camera. Okay, get out of here. She's not, uh, she's evil. She's meows and pees on everything. Anyways, um, you can tell I'm very professional here with these blogs. Uh, <laughs> uh, the scabs I've been using, uh, this vitamin E oil, uh, which is uh, absolutely amazing. And uh, it's been helping the, everything just heal there very well. My scabs are almost completely gone. So the next one of these, I'll have some awesome scar pictures to show you. Uh, my friend Isla, who I did diving with back in college, made a very good comment that I should get, like, some zipper tattoos right on the scars. Like, whoop, which I think is kind of awesome and kind of horrible. But uh, we'll, we'll see. Um, I'm tattoo-free, but I like tattoos, so we'll see what happens. Um, I finally, like I said, got to go back to the gym, and that was just, oh, so... So therapeutic, getting to bounce and flip, and not just that, but the social aspect. I love open gyms because it's so many of my friends hang out there. It's people I see every week, and I have you know a strong social community connection with, and I get to see them, and I get to hang out, and we you know we get to train and do things that we enjoy, and screw around and pick on each other, and just have a great time. Um, plus, I've been doing this job for about 13 years now, so all of my friends kind of know what I do and where I work. So friends just stop by from time to time and hang out. So. Uh, it was just really nice to get out of the house. Um, I've been having people for each open gym stop by my house and pick me up and transport me, which has been very nice of them. Um, helps that I live like five minutes from the gym that I coach at right now. But uh, it's just it's an awesome community thing to be able to hang out with all your friends and have people that you know care about you and, and you know actually want you to feel better and like are excited that you're there and, and well enough again. And uh, that's why I'm very excited to 
obviously open my own version of one of these. Although it looks like we're we're going to be scaling down now um, uh, with the size of what we're looking with for the first few years uh, to keep <laughs> to keep the cost at a minimum. Um, so we're looking at a couple of 2,500 to 3,000 square foot places. Um, it'll probably be about three to four months from now, obviously, because I can't really get up and do anything or coach or work on equipment or do anything. Um, being crippled is awesome! Yeah! Uh, Hulk smash. So, uh, I completely forgot where I was going with this. These webcam things are just so weird. Um, no, we're looking at some 2,500 to 3,000 square foot, uh, Buildings, which would be awesome because most of them have 18 to 20 foot high ceilings, so we can do, uh, you know, the trampoline, the silks, all the uh, high hanging things in the phone pit that we want to do, as well as uh, enough room for a tumbling strip, maybe a, a small air track, all, all the basic necessities that we'll need to do the, the various training that we want to do. But I'm really excited. I've started sitting down with a, a couple of coaches to be uh, the two that I'm really looking forward to help run the gym and to be the, the main coaches there all the time uh, with myself teaching classes um, and, and they're both very excited for it. One I've actually got to sit down and go over all the details of it and he's 100% on board. Uh, the other one I'll be doing that with this week. So I'm really stoked on uh, what's slowly coming together here um, and it looks like we should be ready to launch by May. Somewhere in there. Um, but don't quote me on that because time, money, and people change. Let's do injuries. I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm getting all profound and stuff. So, uh, yeah, I'm healing. Today is Friday. I can't wait for Sunday because that means I get to go to open gym and I get to train and see all my friends. And it will be glorious. Now, if you excuse me, it's time to get gray gray. It's going in my belly. Why am I all so big? 